Good morning. Welcome back. We have like an ultimate cozy morning. I don't know. I was just kind of feeling it. We're going to be doing um, like a whole bunch of fancy outfits later. So we're, we're in sweater mode. I found these sweater pants. I couldn't believe it. It's not necessarily the best material to make pants out of in general. Like, you know, the knit. It's, it's a little clingy, not necessarily flattering, but it's super warm, super cozy. Um, it could start pilling any areas of sweaters that have friction pill. So, you know, sweater pants, not generally a good idea, but hey, we're gonna lounge in them. We're just gonna wear them around the house. We're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna wear our sweater hoodie. There's a hood. <laughs> so we've got like a knit sweater hoodie. All the cozy vibes. <laughs> Is it just me? Do you get excited when you find a different kind of hoodie? Because I have a bunch of hoodies. Whenever I find one that's like not quite the same as my others, I'm like, yes, justification to get another hoodie. Maybe just me? No. There's someone else. Let me know in the comments, please, if you get just as excited when you find like a new varietal of hoodie. <laughs> All right, so enough about my lovely sweater pants. We are going to be doing a bunch of different holiday outfits this year, or not this year, this day. Goodness, we need, I feel like I say this every day, I need more coffee. <laughs> We're gonna be going over some holiday outfits, ways I like to combine things to put together outfits for various types of holiday events. So stay tuned, we'll be seeing that a little later. But for now, we'll start the day, like every day, <laughs> with some advent calendars. And we had to pull this one all the way out to get to day eight, which is another little one, but this is like really little. So I have no idea what's inside here. Ooh, a tiny jar of Dr. Barber Sturm. Okay, so it's an eye cream, super anti-aging eye cream. That's why it's very tiny. Let's see. Oh, wow, it's only good for six months once you open it. I wonder if it's sealed. Yes, it is sealed. Okay, so man, clock will start ticking. It's <laughs> when I open this up for six months. These are nice, they're not usually scented, but a little eye cream, that'll be a nice addition to our, looks like by the end of this, I'll definitely have everything to do a full face for Dr. Barber's term for a little while. That's fun. I like advent calendars like this from a specific brand because you can try out like a bunch of different things from that line without having to invest in like a whole full size item from them. So you can just find your favorites and go from there. All right, and then for the Netta Porter calendar, where it's a bunch of different brands and we have a different kind of fun. Ooh, day eight, let's get the coffee out of the way. So this is a medium sized drawer. Ooh, eye masks, <gasps> plural, there are more than one, cool. MZ Skin by Dr. Miriam Zam Zamani, Ooh, another doctor. I always like skincare from doctors because you know, like, okay, this, <laughs> they're probably a little more serious. They have a reputation to uphold. Directions, ingredients. I wonder if they had more information. Store it in a cool, dry place. <laughs> okay, so we have brightening, hydrating, hydrogel eye masks. These sound delightful. I'll be putting them in the refrigerator maybe putting some of those on before we film our next video <laughs> for the holiday party outfits. Cause that's one thing when you're going to a holiday party, you wanna look a little more awake. And if you've been running around doing all of the things for the holiday season, we can get a little tired looking. So very grateful to have some eye masks and we'll see you guys in a few minutes in party attire. First in the holiday outfit parade, we have a holiday, but keep a casual vibe. I love having a fun top like this one from Zadig and Voltar. They have t-shirts that dress up a casual outing with friends, and adding a blazer is my favorite dressy casual hack. You look nice, but not overdone. I've picked up several of these Zadig and Voltaro shirts over the years, and this is the newest edition. I just love the little gold stars on this t-shirt. Next, I wanted to show this super glitzy gold skirt worn three different ways. This first look is perfect for a family holiday. I love how the fluffy texture of the sweater contrasts with the sequins. I also like how the Dorsey pumps look a little more dressy than a regular pair of black pumps. When you can feel cozy and look classy, it's a win-win. This is a more dressy way to wear the gold skirt, and you can always add a blazer if you're worried you'll be a bit cold at your destination, but this is a more sexy way to wear the gold skirt. 
perfect for a date night in December. With such a statement piece as this skirt, I love finding as many different ways to wear it as possible so you can still feel fresh in it year after year. For number three, I have a more office party appropriate way to wear the gold skirt. This is also a play on texture with the softness of the silk contrasting with the gold sequins. Any jewel tones really would work. In this case, I chose to keep it holiday by using a maroon shade. I also switched the heels to a more office normal pump just to keep it professional in spite of the sequins. Many people have an ugly sweater, but I love an ugly sweater skirt. It's a little different and brings even more whimsy to an ugly sweater party. This exact one is from years ago, but Kohl's has an amazing one this season that even lights up. Also worth mentioning, I love a versatile, lightweight, black v-neck sweater. This particular one is a great value for the quality of the sweater, and the exact one is still available. It's linked down below. I've paired this simple cream sweater with my latest clothing obsession. I found this light gray sweater skirt at Target, and it's so warm and cute. It just screams hot chocolate date. The skirt goes with so many different outfits, and as you can see here, you can dress up a simple winter outfit with a bold red heel to make it party appropriate. I bought these shoes in 2018, and you can still get them from Amazon. I've linked them below, and they're so much fun. I find a reason to wear them every holiday season. For a more daring holiday party date night look, I paired these high-waisted red satin pants with a black vegan leather crop top. I love how these pants really highlight and show off a bold strappy sandal. These pants are from a few years ago, but Shein carries some similar styles. I'll link those similar pants below. The vegan leather crop top is still available, and I will link that item as well. I'm surprised how often this top has come in handy, and it looks so cool underneath the blazer. DSW carries these Valentino-inspired sandals that really dress up any holiday outfit. I am in love with this black chainmail-style top from Alice and Olivia. It looks very cool and party-ready underneath the white blazer. This look is perfect for New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve. Split hem pants are my fashion obsession, and this black pair is more wearable than the dramatic red style we just saw. These chunky loafers are the perfect dress shoe for cold weather climates. The chunky heel handles small puddles of water and slush that seem ever-present each winter in a city. The gold chain links on top of these loafers are reminiscent of the J.W. Anderson giant chain link, but they're much more wearable. This is my favorite top for holiday season. The huge sequins make it just a little different and in my mind, extra festive. This gets pulled out for my favorite events of the holiday season. Here I've paired it with a pair of simple black wide leg pants. The simplicity of the pants really lets the top shine, while still adding some drama as you walk around keeping the look fluid. I also love how with the wide leg pants, the shoes aren't as noticeable, so it's perfect for sneaking a comfortable pair of pretty colored sneakers or loafers. Well, that's it for this holiday edition of my fashion parade. I'll see you guys tomorrow.